Recently, whenever I've been waking up, my eyes are like so puffy in the morning. I have like weird red marks all over me. <laughs> like, am I okay? Oh my God, I look like shit. What's cracking everybody? It's Ave. Um, I just barely woke up. Made myself a protein shake. And now it's time to film. Sorry if you can hear stuff in the back. My step siblings are here and they're playing some like Minecraft. Um, Lego game. Today, what I wanted to do, if y'all know me, you know the kind of like editorial photo shoots or just like photo shoots are one of my favorite things to do and I used to do them like all the time and then the person that I did them with moved so I don't really do them that much anymore. Cutting myself off really fast. I'm not trying to say that these photos that I'm showing are like the most editorial photos ever. I'm just saying the editorial photos are a huge inspiration to me and I love just doing fun photo shoots. Um, I'm not trying to be like, yeah, they're just magical photos. I just really like them. It's always been a passion of mine since I was little, which I didn't even talk about. So I'm gonna talk about that really fast. Growing up, my, oh my gosh, this is falling. Growing up, my sister used to take um, photos of me all the time. She would always have these like really weird ideas. And we had like this bin of dress ups that she would like put me in all these weird outfits and like take photos of me and do my makeup all fun. And it was just like my favorite thing to do growing up. So I think that's kind of where my love for like photography, um, editorial makeup, fashion stems from, so. Just wanted to clarify. And recently I have just realized that I can do them by myself and I don't have to have anyone else. I have a really nice camera that has a self timer. I can go and like buy props or things for it by myself. I can like, I always have ideas. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do like a kind of editorial magazine inspired, magazine cover inspired shoot by myself. And I thought it would be fun because I'll get some cute pictures out of it. I love this kind of like creative directing type stuff and I would love to get better at it. I wish he punched me in the face and then he would have to go to jail because I'm a minor. Anyway, so yeah, that's what today's video is. Um, my goal with this is obviously to get some good pictures, but also help me with feeling more um, confident about the work I do and feeling more confident about being independent and working by myself. Because when I make videos, I do do everything by myself, but taking photos by yourself is just... I don't know, it's just not easy. I know it doesn't sound that complicated, but for me, because I just really started taking photos by myself, it's still something that I'm learning, but I'm just gonna try and take these in my room. So now let's look for some inspiration. I'm sorry, you literally have to look at my face right now. I literally got a spray tan, like, what day is it? Is it Wednesday? Oh, I guess it's been a whole week, so it's probably pretty faded by now. And my eyes are so swollen. Okay, welcome to my Pinterest board. I have been collecting um, these photos for a while now. I used to have like a bunch of random boards of different inspiration and then I just recently kind of merged them all into one. So these are some of my favorite photos, some of my inspiration for um, this shoot. If you guys wanna go follow me on Pinterest, you can go follow me. It's just at Avery Alvard and the link is always down below. So just looking here, I think you can tell one of my favorite um, inspirations or one of my biggest inspirations are Vogue covers, but not Vogue America though. Vogue America sucks. If you guys have never seen like Vogue America covers compared to Vogue Italia, Vogue Ukraine, uh, Vogue Korea, they just do not compare. Like they are so bland and muted and like not creative. They've had like Ariana do covers and like you can do something so cool with Ariana Grande and they just didn't. Um, this is one of my favorite ones. This is um, Vogue UA, that's Ukraine, right? This one's a little bit more simple, which I like. It's just a portrait and they have, uh, she has like beautiful flowers glued on her face. I wanted to do something like this. I obviously wouldn't copy it exactly, but it is okay to get inspiration from other places. So I'm hoping this goes well. I'm hoping this turns out successful. So I will see you guys at whatever craft stores I go to. So I'm thinking of doing something with these, have these, and go and see if they have any flowers I can use. I used to come into Joanne's with my grandma all the time because my grandma is an artist and she sews and does stuff like that. I'm having some real throwbacks right now. Oh my God, my eyes still look so swollen. I need more eye drops, but I don't think I can put more in.
Haul time. First thing I got, these little star embellishments. I don't even know if I'm gonna glue these to my face. I might just use them as like a stencil, but got those. And I also got some mini heart ones. I also got um, a foot of this fabric. I thought it was really pretty and I kind of have like an idea of something I wanna do with it, but we'll see how well that works. And then I also got some mini junior mints. These were $3 for some reason. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like that was a lot of money for these. Another thing, I can't stop thinking about how this song from the Bangers album, F.U., sounds so much like a musical theater song. <laughs> like, I just can't stop thinking about it. Like, I would love to see that in a musical. Just so you guys know, you should go listen to it, it's great. Isn't my bathroom so beautiful? With the circumstances I have of how my room looks right now because we are redoing it, it's a mess. Um, I know you can see stuff all over the back. I know it's gross, but we're just gonna work with it. I think the first thing I'm going to start with is my hair because it's already drying and I know what I wanna do with it. I want to bring back my curls for a sec, okay. I also want like the wet hair look, so I'm going to scrunch my hair a little bit um, put some gel in it and just let it air dry. So let me, actually, let me just grab everything I'm gonna use. So here's the deal. Um, I started getting ready. I started with my hair, of course, and I kind of forgot how much I don't like my curls when I do it like this. Um, my perm is very faded, but whenever I brush it out and then do it, it just like, I don't know, it just looks so like kind of old lady grandma-ish to me. And I just wasn't really liking it. It looked really stringy. So then I was like, okay, whatever. So I started doing my makeup. I used a few new products that I've never used before and I feel like it kind of messed up my base. And then I started with my little star things and my heart. So what I was trying to do was put them on my face, put a bunch of eyeshadow eyeshadow around it, and then when I would peel it off, it would like leave a shape. But one, um, they didn't stick to my face that well because I didn't glue them down at all. No, that looks horrible. Which was just me being an idiot. But also, I used a brand new eyeshadow palette and it just wasn't very pigmented. So then I felt very discouraged, went to the bathroom, washed my face, and then started again. I did a whole new look, but I didn't film it because I didn't think it was going to turn out good, but it did, it turned out really well. So here is that look now, and it looks so much better. Um, I came up with a new look that I really, really like. Not anything super crazy, but I think it's really cute. Um, this is like my outfit, just like a light blue sweater and like a collared shirt. Um, I just did my eyeshadow using two, I guess three. I have a color under there that you can barely see, but um, I used these little things. I literally just stuck them on with eyelash glue. I put some cute little brettes in my hair, which I never really do, but I just thought it would be fun. And now I'm ready to take some pictures. Yeah, I'm feeling a little better, which I know it's not a big deal, but when I'm trying to make this into content that I'm sharing with a lot of people, it is like kind of a bigger deal to me. So um, now that I am all ready to go, I'm going to take some pictures, but first I need to put on some Vaseline so my lips look glossy. I actually have some color changing light bulbs, but for some reason they're like connected to my Wi-Fi and my camera also has to be connected to my Wi-Fi for me to be able to see it on my phone screen. I'm going to change just one bulb and see what it looks like and see if you can even see it on camera. So let's go, let's change. Which one is this? Okay, I want this one on that. I want this one to have that and I'm going to bring it closer to me. I just want it as like an accent light. Um, I know this isn't even the best framing but I'm balancing my little tripod on my big tripod. I'm just gonna take a few little test photos and see how this goes. Little tip to make your jawline look sharper, like clench your jaw and put your tongue at the roof of your mouth. It really does help. I'm gonna do a screen recording on my phone so you can see what I'm seeing. Right. 
I want a few pictures that are blurry, so I'm turning it on to autofocus and then I'm just going to focus it myself. This color changing light bulb, you literally cannot even see on the photo. So maybe I should try my bigger one, but then I'm just afraid it will be too dark. You just can't even see it. Like you can see the colored light bulbs really well when it's dark outside, but it's really light. But like now the lighting just doesn't look as good, but you can't even see the blue. It kind of was a flop. I look better in this camera than I do in this camera. This is kind of my first time doing this. I've taken like self timer photos before, but I literally just took those like in my driveway and wasn't trying to make them super cool or creative or anything. So I'm gonna pray to God these turn out good, go and attempt to edit them, and we will see what happens. What, hap what happens? So I got all my photos imported to my phone, I mean to my computer. Um, the thing is the files are just huge. So I'm gonna go through everything, kind of pick out the ones that I want to send to my phone because I am going to edit these on my phone. Probably not the most professional way to just use like an editing app, but that's just what I'm gonna do. So I have my mini junior mints and I'm gonna go through these now. I feel like editing really pulls a photo together. Like, don't get me wrong, I really like the raws. So I'm looking through these and I don't know how well you're gonna be able to tell on camera. But like, you can tell the biggest difference from when I changed the lighting. So this is before I changed the lighting and that's after. Like, you can't really tell that well on camera. Um, but that's when I tried to use the color changing light bulbs and it just did not work very well. <laughs> this is what my phone looks like with all of my photos imported on it. So these are edited. Um, the photos that you're seeing are edited. And yes, I know I have a lot. What can I say? I really liked a lot of them. But I use the Teza app, which I love. It does cost like a monthly fee, but I think it's so worth it, um, especially if you're like editing photos all the time because the filters are just beautiful. So I used the filter mood. I turned it down to like 30, did a couple other things with like the brightness and the exposure, um, the highlights, just stuff like that until I got it to a point where I liked it. Um, so that's kind of all I did. Here are the before and afters of the photos. And then I wanted a few different ones as well that looked a little bit more editorial. So I have this magazine cover, um, this Vogue magazine cover that I love and I really love the words around it. So it inspired me to kind of make my own version. I know it's nothing crazy, but I did this one without filming it and I wanted to do a different one because I didn't love this photo that I chose. So I am going to show you guys how I do a different one. So I use the app Procreate on my iPad which is like one of my favorite apps ever. And my iPad was a great purchase because I use it for like almost all of my videos and stuff. It really wasn't too complicated to make this. So the text, the no more waiting text is actually my handwriting. So I just copied and pasted that from the last image and I just duplicated it a bunch of times just so I had them all there. And then I literally just moved them around and used the warp tool and just warped them around me um, and just shaped them the way that I wanted them shaped around me. And that really was it. It really didn't take that long, but I thought it was cool. Um, gave it kind of a little bit more editorial look. And I know it's not like super fancy or anything super crazy, but I don't know. I thought it was cool. And you guys know I really like the phrase no more waiting and it just means a lot to me. So um, I thought that was perfect. And yeah, that really was it. And then I also took a, just like a airbrush with the color white. Um, I, this is not a professional way to do this whatsoever to fix lighting, but I literally just like painted that in the corners um, just to make it a little bit brighter. And that's all I did. It really was not that hard, but I still like the way that it turned out. So here are my final photos. Oh, we're living in the present. 